Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to be here today and to celebrate this great occasion, the second edition of the AI Summit. Give a man a fish and feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and feed him for a lifetime. This proverb is more complicated than merely pointing out the fact that supporting communities in need just doesn't mean only monetary contributions. It's so much more than that. In this digital age, this era of change, this proverb now is about all our communities. The digital evolution will not slow, slow down. It's a tidal wave that will carry some nations and communities to prosperity and growth. This wave may also leave behind those who are not prepared or empowered to, to ride this wave or harness the opportunities that digital transformation comes within. DCO is here today to ensure that all of us as humans are prepared and empowered to ride this tidal wave of digital abundance. So we took an in-depth analytical look at the technological advancements that are taking place and at those that are emerging. The picture is clear and the scene is clearer and the speed is bewildering. Our present is all about digital. It's about digital transformation, about digital ecosystems and business models. Well, our future is all about AI, and we're just feeling its way, winds. Therefore, as a unique global organization, DCO thought, what better impact can we drive to our communities, our nations, and the planet than giving the tools, the necessary tools, and the skills that will enable our communities, our nations, to navigate this present and also the future and in between. Also, to harmonize the strategies and development of these nations together. Now, with these bundle of technologies, we make sure that we are progressing and we're achieving a great prosperity and great prosperity for all. But why AI? Unlike any technological advancements mankind has made, AI has the potential to transform almost all aspects of our lives. AI is already being used to improve efficiency and quality, guide decision-making through better analytics and forecasting, and enable us to create entirely new capabilities in fields as diverse as healthcare and space exploration. Collectively, and through cooperation, we can ensure that every nation and community is able to have equal access and enjoy equitable benefit from AI. And that's through adopting the seven pillars that are identified by DCO. Each one of these pillars was structured an overarching objective, which is AI for the good of humanity. Now, let's get to know our pillars. Close the digital divide, empower unprivileged communities, promote digital development, ensure fairness and non-discrimination, drive innovation in AI, compact, uh, compact climate uh, change through AI, and engage in international cooperation and collaboration in AI. We have a long journey ahead, but then, it is no simple mission we're embracing. It comes down to one simple fact. Us as leaders, as humans who care for the good of humanity, we must action today. And therefore, I'm inviting you all to adapt the Riyadh AI call for, uh, call for action and join us in promoting digital prosperity for all. Thank you.